and a deeper look. Here is a pistol. This is a grizzly pistol with a uh, tail hook brace, vortex, 1x prism, crimson trace light. This is an Adam's Arms P1 11.5 piston upper. Palmetto State 10.5 neat tribe, not chrome, not CHF barrel, and it has, I think, SIG. Romeo MSR, this is a red dot. And SB3, I think, brace. PWS Mark 116 Pro. This is the 2223 20, Wild D long strong pistol, piston rifle or carbine. 556182233 Wild D. One of my take somebody to the range guns. This is a Smith and Wesson. MNP15 Sport 2. Right now it has a 2.5 Palmetto State prism on it and an Army Tech light on it. And Macpool Sand Color SL Furniture. Radical Firearms 762 by 39 AR and has Monstrum Tactical 3X Raven. Prism scope on it. At this time, I have an ASC magazine in it, but usually C product ones are in use. Freedom Ordnance Gen 1 and 9mm AR. This one has a Romeo 5 and a set of fixed UTG sights and a Macpool brace. I think that's a Macpool brace on it. or also has a um, little bit of Macpool gray color furniture just for the accents. Palmetto State K KS47 762 by 39 and the Palmetto State older waffle 762 by 39 magazine in it. They don't make those mags anymore. They have Gen 2, which I don't have right now. No optics, again, my safe is full, so I have to take optics off some of the guns to just fit them in. And of course, no mags. This is one of my oldest AR builds. This is a 22-inch Palmetto State CHF um, barrel using Macpole and B5 furniture in Multicam custom on aero precision lower 556 five, obviously and my newest build this is a palmetto state lower and unbranded AR 223 Wild D upper with a shorter 12 inch handguard extremely lightweight extremely nice one of my most recent purchases as a full gun is a um, zero delta base rifle also 223 wildy and this is a full gun unusual stock on this thing from what i hear this is a custom mft at this time it has a 4x utg prism scope on it some of these guns are going to have red dots 762 by 39 ones are going to get new Palmet, uh, primary arms 1 to 6 LPVOs. They just had them on sale. This guy usually has a large scope because this is a long distance gun. But we'll see what happens. There's going to be a 1.8 LPVO on the primary weapon systems. So this is a good chunk of my ARs. Not everything by far, but it's a start. As you can see, there are two different types of piston systems. Short stroke on the right and that one. And long piston on the left. It would be interesting to compare. Again, a lot of these are older. So you're not going to see exactly the same models for sale. But I've been doing guns for a while, I guess. <sighs> I moved to Florida. 
20 years ago. And that's when I started my search and self-education on the guns and having fun. So again, find what you like, find what works for you, get the ammo, get the mags, take your friends and family to the range and be practical and enjoy. That's all. Again, some of those guns are going to get cans when I can, <laughs> so to speak, especially the shorter ones, because for self-defense, a short barrel and a can of some kind or linear comp compensator or something is needed if you're planning to use this firearm for self-defense, as well as an optic that either does not run out of the battery, such as the prism side, and a light for successful identification of your target. Most of these guns are just fun guns, with a few exceptions. They're all fun, but not all of them are intended for self-defense. That's all for now. Thank you for watching, and we'll continue one day.